Jeremiah chapter 21, the word uh, which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, when King Zedekiah sent unto him uh, Pashur, the son of Melchiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Masiah the priest saying inquire I pray thee of the Lord for us for Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon maketh war against us if so be that the Lord will deal with us according to all his wondrous works that he may go um, up from us then said Jeremiah unto them, Thus shall ye say to Zedekiah, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans which besiege you uh, without the walls. And I will assemble them into the midst of this city. And I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and in great wrath. And it will smite, and sorry, and I will smite the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence. And afterwards, saith the Lord, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, and his servants and the people and such as are left in this city from the pestilence, from the sword and from the famine into the hand of uh, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon and into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those that seek their life and he shall smite them with the edge of the sword he shall not spare them, neither have pity, nor have mercy. And unto this people thou shalt say, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He that abideth in this city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. In other words, disease. But he that goeth out and forth to the Chaldeans that beseech you, he shall live, and his life shall be unto him for a prey. For I have set my face against this city for evil, and not for good, saith the Lord. It shall be given into the hand of the king of Babylon, and, be, and he shall burn it with fire. And touching the house of the king of Judah, say, Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of David. Thus saith the Lord, Execute judgment in this morning, it, sorry, in the morning, and deliver him that is spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor. Lest my fury go out like fire, and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Behold, I am against thee, O inhabitant of the valley, and rock of the plain, saith the Lord, which say, Who shall come down against us, or who shall enter into our habitations? But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, saith the Lord, and I will kindle a fire in the forest thereof, and it shall devour all things round about it. Jeremiah 22 Thus saith the Lord, Go down to the house of the king of uh, Judah, and speak there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sitteth, sittest upon the throne of David, thou and thy servants and thy people that enter in by these gates. Thus saith, the Lord. Execute ye judgment and righteousness and deliver the spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor. And do no wrong, do no violence to the stranger, 
the fatherless nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in, uh, in this place. For if ye do this thing, indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house king sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses, he and his servants and his people. But if he will not hear these words, I swear by myself, saith the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus saith the Lord unto the king's house of Judah, Thou art Gilead unto me, and the head of Lebanon. Yet surely I will make thee a wilderness, and cities which are not inhabited. And I will prepare destroyers against thee, every one with his weapons, and he shall sorry, and they shall cut down thy choice cedars, and cast them into the fire, and many nations shall pass by this city. And they shall say every man to his uh, neighbour, Wherefore hath the Lord done thus unto this great city? Then they shall answer, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped other gods, and served them. Weep ye not for the dead, neither uh, bemoan him, but weep sore for him that goeth away. For he hath shall re sorry, for he shall return no more, nor see his native country. For thus saith the Lord, touching uh, Shalom, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, which reigned instead of Josiah his father, which went forth out of his this place, he shall not return thither or there any more. But he shall die in the place whither or where they have led him captive, and shall see the land no more. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by uprightness, and his chambers by wrong. He useth his neighbour's service without wages, and giveth him not for his word. That saith, I will build uh, me a wide house and large chambers, and cutteth him out windows, and it is sealed with cedar, and painted with uh, vermilion. Shalt thou reign because thou uh, closest thyself in close? closest thyself in cedar, and do judgment? Sorry, did not thy father eat and drink, and do judgment and justice? And then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy, then it was well with him. Was not this uh, to know me, saith the Lord? Thine eye, but thine eyes and thine heart are not but for thy covetousness and for to shed innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it therefore thus saith the Lord concerning Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah they shall not lament for him saying, Ah, my brother, or Ah, sister. They shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, Lord, or Ah, his glory. He shall be buried with the burial of an ass, drawn and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry, and lift up thy voice in ba basin, and cry from the passages, for all thy lovers are destroyed. I spake unto thee in thy uh, prosperity, but thou saidst, I will not hear. This hath been 
thy manner from thy youth, that thou obeyest not my voice. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors and all, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shalt thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, that makest thy nest in the cedars, how gracious shalt thou be when uh, pangs come upon thee, the pain as of a woman in travail. As I live, saith the Lord, though Con Con Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, king of Judah, were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee thence. And I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of them whose face thou fearest, even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bear thee, unto another country, uh, where ye were not born, and there shall be shall ye die. But to the land whereunto they desire to return, thither or there shall they not return. Is this man a Kaniah, a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Uh, wherefore are they cast out? he and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not. O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, write ye this man childless, a man that hath, that shall not prosper in his days. For no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. Well, this was the judgment that will fall upon these people. Now why were they being judged? These were the people of God. Now why was God judging them? Because they had departed from the living God. We must understand that once we're saved, we can never ever lose our eternal salvation, but our fellowship with the Lord can be broken. And this, their fellowship with the Lord had been broken here in this case. But I'm here to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ unto you this morning. We need to understand first up that we are sinners in the sight of God. We need salvation for those sins. We need forgiveness for those sins. Otherwise, at the moment of death, we'll be in hell. And God does not want anyone to go to hell. That's why the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. But is he your Savior? You need to make him yours personally. You need to come to a saving knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Now, how is that possible? By repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind. Simply come to God and agree with him, be honest before the God of heaven. I realise that I am a sinner, that thy son has died for me upon the cross. And then all you simply need to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You see, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. Will your soul be lost at the moment of death? Will you be in hell? Or will you go straight to heaven through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you have that everlasting life that can only come through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? At the moment of death, we will be somewhere. We are going to go. We're going to leave our body behind. Our spirit and soul will leave our body at the moment of death because death is a separation. The separation between the spirit and the soul and the body. Those things leave our body at the moment of death. We're either going to be in heaven through faith in Jesus Christ 
as our Saviour, or we'll be down in hell. Why? Because we've rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ who this morning desires to be your Saviour. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. I wonder have your sins been forgiven? Are you still on the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? There's no need for that. You can change directions. You can get on the right road right now this morning, wherever you are. If you'll understand that you're a sinner before God and admit that before the God of heaven and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you and thanks for listening.